Hello and welcome to this eighth in a series of instructional videos about the ease of access environment in Windows 10. Now the ease of access environment is a place where we can make changes to the Windows operating system to more personalize the experience for ourselves to make it more inclusive. So if you have a hearing or a visual or a physical disability this is the environment where we're going to be able to make most of those changes. Before I go on, I'd like to ask you to click the subscribe button to our channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of any further um, videos that we produce, please hit the notification icon bell. Now in this video, we're going to be looking at the hearing section in ease of access. In particular, we're going to be looking at closed captions. So without further ado, let's get started. OK, so we're going to be looking at closed captions in the ease of access environment. And to do that, as always, we're going to go down to the bottom left where there's a window icon. That's the start button. Hover the mouse over that. It's going to say start or show the word start. I'm going to left click on that. We're going to see some more icons in the far left here. I'm going to look for the one that looks like a cog. If you hover the mouse over that, it will say settings. We're going to left click settings. Everything is a left click unless I say otherwise. Now, here we are in the Windows settings environment. This is our springboard where we can go off and make a host of system changes to the Windows operating system. If you do make any changes, I would strongly recommend that you keep yourself a notepad handy so you can make references as to what the settings were before you make any changes and then what you change them to. So for example, I always keep a notepad handy and uh, that way I can, I can revert if I want to. Also, if that what I changed causes problems and stops something from working properly, I would then know not to use that setting again. But here we are. We're going to be looking at ease of access. So let's click on ease of access. We've already talked about the display and all the vision settings. If you've missed those videos, go back and, and have a look at those. We've already talked about audio. Now we're talking about closed captions. So let's click that. Now at the top here, you'll see there's a, an image and it looks like um, a hobbit dwelling from, from uh, Lord of the Rings. And there's a word in there saying captions look like this. And that's in the default setting. Now some of these settings that we're going to change, you will see a change to them. Others you won't see a change. Why we don't see a change, I'm not entirely sure. It's probably something to do with this screen capture that they've, this little image that they've provided for us. So, this is the preview that we have here, so we can preview what the differences are that we're going to make. Let's have a look at the first one, caption color. Now we can change the caption color to from white, which is the default, to black, red, green, and so forth. It's personal preference. It all depends on the background that we're looking at. So for argument's sake, let's change this to black. There we go. So that's what a black caption would look like on that type of background. Let's change that to yellow. And that's what a yellow one would look like. So you can see you can make some changes here to personal preference. Caption transparency. Now we have opaque, which I think if I'm not mistaken is the default settings. So we've got that on yellow at the moment. Let's see what opaque does to that. Nothing. Okay, so that's because I believe it is the default. Now let's try translucent and it should make it slightly faded. There we go, that's made that slightly faded. Now we have semi-transparent. So this is going to be more ghost-like, more ethereal, if you will. There we go, it's even fainter. 
now this last one and for the life of me I do not know why they included this transparent so let's see what happens if we go with transparent it's vanished now <laughs> I can't for the life of me figure out why you would want to have captions that you cannot see still it's there for a reason let's go back to default <laughs> I really can't figure that one out right caption style this is where we can change the style of the captions so like the fonts and that so at the moment we're on default and you'll notice that a lot of these are serifs so we have mono serif proportional serif mono sans serif and proportional sans serif and then we have casual cursive and small caps the reason there are so many serifs is because uh, according to the RNIB and also I think to the um, what's the American one for, for closed captions um, NCC or something like that F FCC FCC I think it is um, it's easier to read basically so mono mono serif which I believe is the FCC preferred one then we have proportional serif then we have mono serif so I think mono serif is the one that you're most likely going to see when you're watching a movie or a television program so that's mono sans serif then we have proportional sans serif casual casuals okay not too bad these next two can prove difficult for uh, for reading so we have cursive now cursive is a bit like italics and if you have a, a reading disability th this will be difficult it could prove difficult to read then we have small caps and I don't know if you've ever tried reading an A4 piece of paper where everything is in caps it, 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 it just makes it really difficult to read so but it's there we've got some options stick with the serifs let's go back to the default then we have caption size so let's just bring this down so we can still see the, the uh, sample there caption size this is where we can change how much of the screen the text would take up now the default that you can see there would be called a hundred percent so when you see this when I click on here you'll see 50% 100% 150% and 200% 100% doesn't mean it's going to be 100% bigger than it is now it just means that's its default setting so that by reason means that 50% is going to be half the current size so let's try that there you go it's half the current size 100% back to standard 150% and then 200% but let's go back to the default for now then we have caption effects and I challenge you to spot the difference with any of these at least with this sample that they've get that Microsoft have kindly given us to see the differences I can't see any difference so we have default none let's try raised let's try raising the text can you see a difference I can't let's try depress I so will depress the captions again I can't see any difference let's make them uniform I still can't see any difference let's try drop shadow again I can't see any difference now that could be because of the sample that they've given us but then why give us a sample where we can't see what difference it's going to make so we go further down and we have change caption background now again you're not going to see any difference here but it's one of those instances where I think when you're watching a video or some or movie or whatever 
the caption background would, would then you would notice a change to that as at least I'm going by how it works with other operating systems or other apps that do the same feature so caption background color so let's change that to black there we go on our sample there's no difference let's change that to a white background again there's no difference so play around with these settings when you're watching a video um, that brings me to a point this won't change the um, so say you're watching YouTube this won't create closed captions for the YouTube videos YouTube have their own algorithm that would do that for you so you would click the CC button down there so you can see their own closed captions this will however so I've been told override the closed captions on a movie so if you've got a CD or DVD player in your device and you plug the DVD it push the DVD in it can override those settings there to be more personalized to you or equally if it's on a USB stick or however method you connect to that movie now let's change that back to default then we have um, window color now we have white black and so forth now I believe that that is to do with the actual window that you'll be watching the um, program through or the movie through and that would be like this taskbar at the bottom it would change the color of something like that and the title bar then we have window transparency again that would decide on how transparent that particular window would be so you, the more transparent it is the more you'd be able to see the background behind it so you might end up seeing the desktop background behind it so these are some of the options so you have opaque transparent you play around with these to your heart's content and as you can see you can always go back to the default if you wanted to so we have video playback settings over here so let's just briefly click on it just so to show you so this gives a sample video which I think would have been more helpful in the previous screen with some closed captions where we could have practiced a bit more but hey ho I, I, I don't work for Microsoft they, they, they obviously have their reasons so you can uh, play this sample video and if you want to you can make some changes here but this is outside the remit of what we're talking about and will be another video but I just wanted you to be aware that you can make some changes here but please make a note of any changes that you make and I would suggest just leaving the video playback on the Windows default setting because it would choose the ideal mode for that particular situation well I hope you found this uh, this video informative Thank you for watching.